Okay, so this video today is, um, it's kind of like how to a little bit, but it, this video is how to be hired at Hot Topic because it's a cool place to work. We get a lot of applications and a lot of people write the same things on them, so I'll tell you what to do and what not to do. Um, so anyone who doesn't know Hot Topic is a clothing store that I work at. It sells goth, grunge, um, pop culture, music, what was the last one, anime, all that good stuff, all the stuff that I love, which is why I like the work there, um, so, one of the things is, there's a lot of stereotypes of people that work at Hot Topic, you don't have to look a certain way. You don't have to dress up a certain way or like a certain group of music to work there. Like we've had people there that well, um, that work there that like country and all that stuff. And we've had people that look completely normal and not like this. Uh, at one point, I was the only one with colored hair that worked there. Like, uh, bright colored hair. At one point, also me and uh, the assistant manager now were the only ones with piercings that worked there out of like 10 employees or so. But we were the only ones with piercings or stretched ears. Which those are stretchers if you don't know. So yeah, you don't have to look a certain way. You don't have to have piercings or tattoos or any kind of like body modification or certain hair color to work there. Which is a lot of stereotype. Like, uh, if you're a good person then hey, why not? Um, so the application process. There, it's an application you can fill online or get in stores. Is my face yellow? No, I think it's just the light it looks yellow because of my hair. Sorry. Uh, the application has like, um, what skills you have, what can you bring to, to Hot Topic or the workplace. Um, I can't remember the rest of them. We did an interview yesterday and I can't remember. Um... Oh, how you find your music, uh, what do you like about Hot Topic or why you want to work there. A lot of people put the atmosphere, that they like the atmosphere. A lot. Like, every application I've read has had that. So I would say don't put that. Um, on my application, I wrote, like, I had to put, like, seven applications before they actually interviewed me to hire me. And so, they keep them up to a year. So if you have one in, if you update, they'll just bring another one. And then tell them and they'll put it together. Unless you're in the red light folder, then it won't really, they don't really care. Or we don't really care. Uh, but, why do you want to work there? You shouldn't want to work there if you don't know the things that they sell or we sell. So, like, why would you work in a store that you know nothing about? So, like, the music. Any kind of music, really. It's, like, alternative. Metal, new metal, classic rock, um, pop punk, all that good stuff. So you want to know the music first off. Um, how you find out about the music? Just that's how you found out about it. If you put the radio, no, <laughs> just no. You should not find about new music from the radio because the radio is not new music. I don't like the radio. I don't listen to the radio. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of Ghost Town. Um, if you don't know who they are, look them up because they're awesome and I love them. And then, if you don't watch anime, not a big problem. Anime currently is a big seller, so we have a lot of anime stuff. If you don't watch anime, that's cool. I'm the anime nerd at work. I know all, all about all the animes, but it just helps to like sell the product. And, oh, I was going to say, on my application, I put, like, I've shopped here since fifth grade. It's been my dream to work here. Like, all this heartfelt stuff. And then they never call me back for an interview. So, um, it happens. Um, you want to have prior work experience. You don't need it, but you kind of want to. But if you don't, that's fine. Because we've hired people, like, 14 before. But it was just once, and we looked for 18. Because if you're under 18, you can't work past nine I think and um you can't be any kind of management if you're under 18 so 18 is a good age to apply to Hot Topic um 
like computer skills and stuff. Just like Word, email, anything else you know. Uh, we don't really have to do that much computer things. Mostly just like management prints outside and stuff. But that's, a, that's all we do. Like a sales associate don't need to know any of that. Um, you have to be able to lift things like 30 pounds um, because that stuff is heavy. When you use the long pole and try and get things off the top rack and they're heavy, it's like a lot. And uh, sometimes you end up dropping them on people or like dropping them on yourself or dropping them on other mannequins. It happens. And shipment boxes are heavy too. Um, if they're packed with belts or hair dye, they will be very heavy. If they're just like t-shirts, they're kind of heavy. If they're like plushes and backpacks, they're not heavy at all. But they're heavy and you have to be able to carry them. And I am, I am not the strongest person, but I manage it. Meh. No thing. Um, oh. You go to your interview, let's say, let's say you fill this awesome application and they call you back. Or you get a call from me and I'm like, I want to interview you. Because I do do that sometimes. I've actually interviewed people before too, which is if I interview you. Yeah. That would be rad. Um, when you go to the interview, really, just, just dress how you normally dress. Don't dress a certain way. Don't try and dress all like, like of course you have to look nice and clean. But, like, I showed up to my interview in, like, a plaid mini skirt and, like, a ripped sweater. Like, that's just what I wear. Just wear what you wear to the interview. And answer all the questions honestly. Like, like what do you think about stealing? If you think stealing is awesome, then say that. Because then we know that we won't hire you. But just, just tell your honest opinions. Don't say the answers that you think we want to hear. Just say, like, actual answers that you believe in. Because when you sell products, you have to believe in the product you are selling or else people won't buy it. Like, I'll show you an example. Let's say, I got this in Japan. It was full of gum, but now it's not. Now it's empty. But it's a Rilakkuma. But we don't sell these at work, but let's just say I'm trying to sell this to you. Because we sometimes, when we interview people, I don't know if it's just our store or other stores, we'll ask them to like pick out an outfit and then sell it to us. But, okay. Let's say you're debating on buying this. I'm going to sell this to you. Well, it was me. It's from Japan. And it's special because it's from Japan. It's not made in the States. Also, it has awesome peach flavored gum inside of it. And our candies, but I'm going to get one half off. So, I mean, you can get something else with it in case you don't like this one. And it's a cute bear. Look at it. Look at this bear. It's adorable. You want it. I know you want it. That, that's, that's really how I sell things to people. I tell them that they want it, and then they get it, and then they want it. You just have to be like really excited about what you're selling and that's how people buy things. And then you have to tell them how much they're saving like candies or t-shirts about them you don't have half off right now. They usually are. So it's, it's not you can get another shirt for half off. It's you can spend, it's, it's you can get another shirt for $10, only $10 as opposed to the regular twenty fifty. So you can get another shirt for $10 or you could save $10 by buying another shirt now instead of buying it later. And then that you, that's usually the one that gets them. Um, so that was me selling something to you. Oh. oh, probably the last piece I'm going to tell you is the most important about being interviewed for Hot Topic or really anywhere. Be yourself. Um, one thing about us at our store is that we all have awful social anxiety and if we are not at work we will probably not talk to you at all because we're just that awkward and antisocial but I have a lot of anxiety everyone there has anxiety problems so if you come in nervous with a lot of anxiety then like we understand we feel you because we have the same problems we are the weirdest mash of social anxiety filled people that you will ever want to hang out with. <laughs> if that makes sense. But that's at work. Like outside of work we're completely different than when we're trying to sell people things. So if you're watching this and you come into my store. If you try and talk to me outside of work. I'm probably not going to pay attention. One because I have awful hearing and I probably won't be able to hear you. 
Two, because I have really bad social anxiety and I'll probably just be like, don't look at me, I don't exist. So yeah, that's, that's what tends to happen a lot. But be yourself. If you have problems and if you have anxiety, that's okay. If you like to dress like me and wear black lipstick, that's okay. If you don't, that's okay too. If you like country music or you're a furry, I don't know. It's all good. Just be, be yourself because that's who we want to hire. We want to hire you, not this person you're pretending to be for us. Like if you don't ever dress up in band shirts or ever wear black lipstick or red lipstick or whatever, purple, then don't wear it. If you don't wear it regularly, then don't wear it. Just be you and don't change who you are. And that's a motto for life and hot topic hiring. So that is all. I'm gonna go now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's like nine in the morning and I'm dressed and I'm really bored. So I'm probably gonna see if my friend wants to get coffee. Because I like coffee and cigarettes. That's what I live off of. But I love you all very much. I hope somebody got something out of this. If you work at Hot Topic, leave a comment below. If you have come into my store, leave a comment below because then I will see your picture and then I will try and remember you. And I also have a really bad memory. So if you tell me that you watch my YouTube, then I'll be like, oh my God, you watch my YouTube. And I'll probably freak out on you. I will fangirl at you. Because that's happened. Um, a couple times. And then I'm like, oh my god, why did I say that? I'm like, I just fangirled at someone who was watching my YouTube. I am a fangirl. I fangirled at a fangirl. Which, yeah, that happens. Because I'm awkward and don't know what to do. So I'm just like, ah! Okay, well, on that note, I'm going to go now. Um, I'll leave a comment. If you were a hot topic, leave a comment... Um, if you applied to Hot Topic after watching this, leave a comment if my video helped you or not. Um, uh, yeah, my hair's stuck. Well, I guess that's all. I'm gonna go now. Bye. I love you all, my pretty little unicorns, because I haven't called you my unicorns in a while, and I keep getting comments that say I never call you my unicorns anymore. So you're all my wonderful little unicorns.